Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Thanks for joining us for Rhymers Will Be Readers. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With the runs from early on, we clap and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With all our friends from early on, we stomp and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With all our friends from early on, we wave and sing hello. Hello everyone. I hope you're having a great morning. It's Monday, November 29th. It's almost the end of November. Next comes December. Something big and important happens in December. Do you know what it is? This week, we're gonna talk a little bit about things that are happening with the animals outside. Do you notice that the weather is changing? And in the winter time, animals go through a different state. They start hibernating, some of them migrate, some of them brumate. So there's lots of different things happening with the animals outside. So when you're out and about, see if you can spot any changes that you're seeing. Did you notice something that happened this weekend and it's still out there today? Did we get some snow? Makes everything look super pretty outside, doesn't it? Looking at the trees is my favorite when they're covered in snow. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy out today? Is it windy? Is it foggy? Is it snowing out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What is the weather like today? Well, out my window, it's definitely cloudy. We don't see the sun peeking through. And it's not snowing right now. But it has been snowing on and off a lot the past few days, so I wonder if we might get some snow later today. All right, let's do our first poem. It's about five bears. Now I'm going to use my felt board, but if you don't have five bears at home, you can just use your fingers. Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, and five. And I have some weird things happening on my screen on this end. So hopefully you can see them good on your end. I'm gonna move a little bit closer. All right, Betty. Five brown bears take a winter's sleep if one of those bears should wake up without a peep, there would be four bears left to sleep. Four bears take a winter's nap. If one of those bears should wake without a peep, there would be three bears left to sleep. Three brown bears left to sleep. If one of those bears should wake without a peep, there would be two brown bears left to sleep. Two brown bears take a winter's sleep. If one of those bears should wake without a peep, there would be one brown bear left to sleep. One brown bear takes a winter sleep. If he wakes up without a peep, there would be no bears left to sleep. I think we should probably put our bears back to sleep since it's just the beginning of winter. So that means our bears are just getting ready to start hibernating and they're gonna sleep all the way until spring. It's very uncommon for a bear to wake up during winter. That's why they get their bellies nice and full before they go to sleep. 
And when they wake up in the springtime, they're usually really, really hungry because they've been sleeping for so long. All right, what do we have next? How about a song about our shadows? Have you noticed your shadow when you're outside? It's what you see on the ground. It's usually when the sun is shining nice and bright. So on cloudy days, you usually don't see your shadow. But that doesn't mean you can't go outside and try and see if you can see it. See my shadow, see my shadow. It follows me around, follows me around. When the weather's sunny, when the weather's sunny, I see it on the ground, I see it on the ground. Where's my shadow? Where's my shadow? Where did it go? Where did it go? When the weather's cloudy, when the weather's cloudy, can you see it? No. Can you see it? No. That's true, right? When the weather is nice and when it's cloudy outside, you don't see your shadow on the ground. Right next we have a song about winter animals. We already talked about the bears, but do you know some other animals that either fly away or go away for the cold months, or maybe they fall into a sleep for the winter months? The bear gives a wave as he runs into his cave. Oh, how we know when it snows the bear is in his cave. The birds are flying down to a warmer town. Oh, we know when it snows, the birds are flying down. What about the bunnies? What do bunnies do? The bunnies grow a coat, her special winter coat. Oh, we know when it snows, the bunny grows her coat. So bunnies grow extra fur so they can stay nice and warm. What about the penguins? Do you think penguins go to sleep for the winter? No way, they like the cold. The penguins play on ice. The penguins play on ice. Yes, they think it's nice. We're gonna try that verse one more time. Has that ever happened to you? We are singing a song and you either sing the wrong tune or you sing the wrong lyrics. That's okay, sometimes we feel a little bit silly, but we can just start over again. The penguins play on ice. Yes, they think it's nice. Oh, we know when it snows, the penguins play on ice. Good job, everyone. I have pictures next to show you. We're gonna sing a song to the tune of Muffin Man. Do you know that too? Pretty sure you probably do. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's great big. What do we have? Bears. That's right, we talked about the bears who hibernate. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's little. What does that look like? Groundhogs. That's right, we won't see groundhogs for a little while. Do you know who hibernates? Who hibernates? Who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's buzzing. Bees. Bzz. Bees are definitely not out when it's cold. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's small black bats. That's right, the bats hibernate in the winter. Okay, I got one more. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's stinky little skunks. That's right, the skunks hibernate in the winter. It's kind of nice, we get a little bit of a break from smelling their stinky, stinky smell. All right, great job singing with me this morning about some animals that hibernate and some that fly away to warmer areas. 
Make sure you come back every day this week for Rhymers Will Be Readers, where we'll be talking about different animals that hibernate, we'll be talking about some that migrate, and some that brewmate. So come back this week so you can learn what the difference is between the three, and you can learn some fun new songs with us. All right, a challenge to start you off for Monday morning. Your challenge for today is to get outside, take a walk, and see if you notice any animals that are getting ready to hibernate. You're probably not going to see any bears. Well, depending on where you're watching from, you probably won't see any bears. I know here in Woodstock, we won't see any bears walking around getting ready to hibernate, but you might see some other animals that are getting ready. See if you notice the things that they're doing. Maybe they're collecting food. Maybe they're starting to dig some deep holes. See if you can notice the things that they're doing. And a part two to the challenge, get outside today and see if you can see your shadow. And if you can't see it outside, see if there's ways inside that you can play where you can see your shadow, maybe on the ground or on the wall. All right, everyone, we'll see you tomorrow. We clap and sing goodbye, we clap and sing goodbye. With all our friends from early on, we clap and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye, we stomp and sing goodbye. With all our friends from early on, we stomp and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye, we wave and sing goodbye. With all our friends from early on, we wave and sing goodbye. Bye everyone, enjoy your day.